Hi friends, welcome to Oracle Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discuss about self-join and cross-join. Friends, before coming to it, if you are watching our channel first time or not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Right, so first of all, we will see uh, what is self-join. Join a table to itself is called self-join. To join a table itself means that each row of the table is combined with itself and with every other row of the table. The table appears twice in the from clause and is followed by table aliases that qualify column names in the join condition. The self-join can be viewed as a join of two copies of the same table. The table is not actually copied. Right, so now we will see how to do this self-join. So we will create a table named employees. Create a table. Table name we will give us employees. With the columns, ID. we will give number. Then we will give F name, where car 2 of 20, L name, where car 2 of 20, we will give a MGR ID, it's manager ID as number. Now we will uh, execute this query. Table created. Now we will insert uh, some rows into this uh, table employees. Here we are going to insert uh, these four rows. And here we can see those rows inserted. Now we will verify our table employees. Select star from employees and we can see the result set here. Now we will retrieve records with self joins. Uh, so we will give the query select even dot l name combine will give works for it's a literal string. Then we will give from e2 dot l name. These are the aliases E1 and E2 for the same table employees from table name is employees. We have E1 and we will join same table employees using another alias. It's E2. Then we will give the condition E1 dot ID equals E2 dot MGR ID. So now we will run this query and here we can see the result. Even here we can give a space. Again now we will uh, rewrite this query and we will uh, do it. We will give a even L name. Okay, here we will give a space. Here we can give a comma. E2 dot F name. Then here we can see E2 dot L name. Okay, uh, from employees E1, join employees E2 on. Okay, right. So we will uh, try this. And here we can see the result. Now we will see this uh, cross join. The cross join clause produces the cross product of two tables. This is the same as a Cartesian product between the two tables. Here we required two tables uh, to do this uh, cross join. Already we have this uh, table uh, named employees. Uh, we will create one more uh, table named departments. Create 
create a table departments with the columns department ID as number department name we will give where I got two of 20 then we will give manager ID now we will execute this query and we will see the result table created now we will insert some rows into this table departments here we are going to insert these four rows execute and here we can see four rows inserted now we will verify our table departments select start from table name is uh, departments here we can see the result set now we will write a query for cross join using these two tables departments and employees so here we will give a select start from employees we are going to cross join with the table departments now we will execute this query and here we can see the result here we can see the result set it is the Cartesian product of uh, these two tables employees and departments the same query we can uh, rewrite in another way so we will give select m by d comma f name comma dpt name from table name is employees then the second table is uh, departments now we will execute this query and we will see the result here we can see the same result here in this result set it shows the Cartesian product of uh, these two tables employees and departments uh, with the specified columns right so friends in this video we have seen uh, self join and cross join stay tuned for the future videos and we will meet again with the next video thank you